Anki is an amazing kind of study tool. I think if you watch any of my videos, you know that. But if you throw in some really good add-ons to Anki, it really takes it to the next level. In this video, I'm gonna go over my must-have add-ons for Anki and how to use them. So if you're completely new to Anki and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a couple of videos linked below which will give you kind of the introduction of how to use Anki for medical school, specifically using the Anking deck. First things first, how do you download an add-on with Anki? Well, it's really simple. You just go to tools on the top here, hit add-ons, hit get add-ons, and then you just type in a code. And if you click this here, it'll bring up the page with all the add-ons. You find one you like, scroll down until you see the numbers here, command C, command V, and when you hit OK, it'll download that add-on, and then for an add-on to take effect in Anki, you just need to restart Anki. Don't worry, for the add-ons that I'm gonna talk you guys through, I have every code listed out and I'll tell you them. So all you need to do is as I kind of say the code or you see the code, just go to this, click get add-ons, type it in, and hit download, and then restart Anki. The first add-on, the first add-on that I think is a big game changer is Advanced Browser. For Advanced Browser, again, you're just gonna do get add-ons, and the code is 6136842. Four, two, four, two. hit OK, let it download, make sure it's enabled, and then restart Anki. You can see we have the basic things here, which is sort field, card, do, deck, created. Now these are nice, but the things I really wanna throw in are come some kind of more advanced things. You see, this is, by the way, this new thing popping up is because we have this advanced browser. So in this advanced browser, you can see you have the normal things here, lapses, intervals, ease, card modified, but the things I like to throw in are two things which will tell you kind of how much a card is taking time away from you. So the thing I wanna show in is kind of time total. And I also wanna throw in lapses. I like to sort by lapses on the top here, and then I go to the top, and you can find cards that are really kind of sucking time away from you. Like for example, this is 43 minutes on just one card. So acetyl-CoA carboxylase is regulated by positive feedback by insulin and citrate. Yeah, the, FA, the fatty acid synthesis cycle is it's clearly a sticking point for me and might be something I need to look at. I've had 36 lapses and I spent 43 minutes just on this card. So what I would do is maybe I'd copy this image, um, make, a, make an image occlusion, which we're gonna go over soon, and just kind of learn this a little bit better. The important thing to take away here is you can see kind of what cards are you are getting the wrong the most and what cards you should maybe look at to learn the material better. I just hinted at it, but now we're gonna get into it and we're gonna go to image occlusion. So let's say, for example, I want to occlude an image. Well, first things you get first, right? You gotta download this add-on. So go to add-ons, go to get add-ons. We're gonna say this about eight times, so get ready for the get add-ons. Get add-ons and type in code 1374772155. Okay, hit the X, hit restart, and then you should have the lovely image occlusion add-on in your folder. Okay, this voice is going away very shortly. Edit, edit out, edit out, edit out. So remember we sorted by lapses, so I have this thing, this fatty acid cycle card that's given me some trouble. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this guy and drag it right into the text box here. And then in the text box here, you'll see this thing here. And the only thing you do for image occlusion, it's really simple, just right click it. You can go back up here too, but you just hit occlude image. And what you wanna do is you wanna occlude what you wanna learn. So for example, this is probably the area of the cycle that's messing me up. So I should probably know what has a negative effect, glucagon, right? So I wanna be able to memorize that. I wanna know that insulin has a positive effect on this. And I also wanna know maybe that um, acetyl-CoA goes into this cycle right here. Now the thing is you don't want to occlude too much because if you occlude too much, like if I occluded acetyl-CoA carboxylase and melanocoA and ABC carboxylase, I don't really know what this positive effect is having on it. Now maybe I should know that, but it's a little too much for me. So I'm going to delete these and I'm just going to have these three things. So this is glucagon, insulin, and acetyl-CoA here. See, I'm learning right now. And all you want to do is you just want to hit hide all, guess one. This will make kind of all these cards still cover up stuff and it'll test you on this one. So it'll say, know this, and these will be covered. Because sometimes other things may give certain things away, right? So if I know insulin's here, right? So if it, I, insulin's showing up right here, I'll know that this answer is an insulin. And I don't want to kind of be given too much information. I want to be able to test myself and know that this is glucagon. So you just hit hide all, guess one. And then when you hit that, three of these cards will be added to your deck. So the next add-on is hierarchical tags. And this is really nice because when you go into the browse section, I've disabled it because I want to show you how ugly the browse section is without it. Look at that. 
all your tags. This, this I'm still scrolling here. This this is this is unusable. I mean, I would look at this and I would say, I'm done. No more Anki for me. But when you download hierarchical tags, it'll make it look much nicer. So let's see, let's download hierarchical tags. So you just go to add-ons again, right? Get add-ons and type in the code 594-329-229, hit okay, restart Anki, and then come back to make sure this is enabled here. And now when we go back to browse, You'll see, oh, it's so much prettier over here. Look at that, My On King Step 1, Boards and Beyond, First Aid, the way that makes it simple. And now you might just be thinking like, oh, Zach, like that's just a silly like aesthetic thing, like it doesn't really matter. But when you start doing this every day and you start unsuspending cards every day, you wanna shave off seconds as much as you can. So if I can shave off a couple seconds searching for the tag by just knowing it's a Boards and Beyond video, it's a biochem video, and it's the metabolism video on phenylalanine, right? That's gonna save me time in the long run. So if it saves me maybe one minute for one day and I'm doing Anki for like two years, right? That's like nearly 800 minutes, right? Which is a good amount of time. The next thing which will kind of make our sidebar pretty is this add-on called Customize Sidebar. So now when I have Customize Sidebar disabled and I go to browse, you'll see all this mess here. This is mess. And these are just my note card types which aren't factored under a certain tag with the hierarchical tags, you need customized sidebar to actually get your note types into kind of their own little subfolders. So again, as we always do, tools, add-ons, get add-on, and this code is 19887605969. Hit OK, restart Anki. So now you can see when I go to the browse section on the left here, this, all those notes that we saw before are now under this nice subfolder right here. And I can just click this, and that way I don't have to scroll all the way down before I see all these nice little things. Okay, the next one is review heat map. You see this really nice thing down here. And I really like this because it kind of gives me a little bit of motivation every day to do my Anki may seem like a small thing, but every day that I see my streak go up by one day, it's nice. Now, this one, it gets a little bit trickier just because you can't actually use the little code that I've sent before because the people that are creating it are constantly updating it and they're updating it on a separate kind of thing. You're gonna have to go through a separate link to do it. I have that link below and it's in the description down below, but all you wanna do is go to review heat map and go to download the latest beta. So you'll have downloaded the latest beta and it's really easy. You just click it. You just click it and then you wanna hit yes. I've already downloaded it, so you hit yes. And then again, you need to restart Anki. And then when you restart Anki, you'll see this nice little review heat map here. And you can actually edit this review heat map even more. So my color is ice, cause I like that, but you can make it something like lime and you can also make it a yearly overview. So now you can see it's one continuous thing as opposed to being split into months and it's green but I don't like that. I like to have mine as ice because it matches my background a little bit more and continuous timeline. So the next sneakily kind of very important app that we want is true retention. I'll give you the code in a second, but the reason we want true retention is that it's gonna give us the correct percent of answers we get right on cards or hit good on cards that are more mature cards, that are mature cards. So mature cards are just cards that have an interval greater than 21 days. And the reason is because the amount of cards you're getting correct on your new cards or your learning cards is gonna vary and it's gonna fluctuate a lot and it's probably gonna bring down your overall average of percent cards right. Because the regular stats in here, that incorporates everything from your new cards, all that kind of stuff, and we don't want that. Now, if we go to the regular stats app, it's pretty, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you can go to, I like to look at uh, hourly breakdown. You can see I do my best work at 9 a.m. and then it gets kind of worse as the day goes on. Uh, so yeah, I should study more then, but that's not really gonna change the way I do things. So what's gonna change the way I do things is True Retention. So let's download the True Retention app. Again, you're just gonna go to add-ons, get add-ons, and type in the number 613-684-242. Hit okay, hit X, and restart Anki. Okay, so now we have the True Retention add-on. Now to use it, you have to shift click the stats button. So again, you shift click the stats, and this nice little retention kind of stats screen will come up. Now, what I like about this is that you get to look at your kind of past month stats and this true retention rate, again, is what we're gonna look at. So the true retention rate that I'm at right now for the past month 
is 88.1%. So 88.1% is gonna be, be between the percent we want, which is 80 to 90%, with that golden number being like 85%. Now, this is a point of argument. Some people say that you should be, because you're studying for STEP, and you wanna get the highest percent score possible at around 90 to 100%, but I don't think that's doable, because in order for me to increase my true retention rate, I would need to see the cards more frequently, so I would remember the cards more, and if I saw the cards more frequently, then that would mean that my daily review count would just go up and up and up. I went over in another video, which I will link down below, how to kind of perfect your true retention rate. But all you would do is go to your interval modifier, so click on your cod wheel on the left here, and then you go to reviews, and then if you're learning the cards too close together, which means your number is too high, so you're above 90%, you can make this number bigger and this will push the cards farther apart. If you're seeing the two cards too far apart and your retention falls below 80%, what you wanna do is decrease this number to maybe 80 or 90% and then see kind of how it affects your true retention rate. And again, once you make the change, I suggest not touching it for maybe a couple weeks or a month and then going back to stats and checking out what this kind of number looks up right here. So the next add-on is Pop-Up Dictionary or Amboss. Now, if you have the money, I really suggest buying Amboss. No, I'm not sponsored or anything like that by them. I wish I was, but I use their kind of tool all the time. And it's really nice because when I'm not really sure about something, I'll just scroll over it like this and this nice little screen will pop up. And if I wanna learn even more with the new version kind of on the right here, I'll click it and then I can kind of scroll through things on the right about helmets, right? And I can learn about all these different lovely little parasitic worms. But if you want a free version of this, um, that kind of is still pretty good, but not as good as Amboss, you can use one called Pop-Up Dictionary. So first things first, we want to download this add-on. So you go to down Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, type in the code 613-684242, hit OK, exit it out, restart Anki. And when you restart Anki, the Pop-Up Dictionary will be there. So if we go to our new Pop-Up Dictionary, you can see Helminth is underlined in white, which means that it's identified that as a keyword. So the way this add-on works is that it looks through your entire deck and it finds other cards that have this keyword. If it has this keyword, it'll pop it up here. So when I highlight it, I should get something that pops up. And again, this isn't really that helpful. I don't see how this is helpful. I don't see how this is helpful. Maybe some of this is helpful. This is definitely helpful. But again, it's not targeted information like it is with the Amboss, but it's still good information. And it's only using information that's in your deck. So if you don't have a full deck with lots of things, what's underlined isn't really gonna help you out that much. So I think it's still a really good add-on if you can't afford or can't use Amboss. But again, I really suggest Amboss just because Honestly, I was gonna buy Amboss. I didn't even know it had question banks and teaching things, but I was just gonna buy it just because of this ability to underline things during Anki. Because a lot of people, when they're going through these cards, and myself included, fall into the trap of just memorizing the answer and just kind of hitting space. But really what you wanna do before you hit space is understand, okay, what is a helmet? Why do I have to treat this by wrapping it around a stick. But again, the Amboss will help you learn and understand these things as opposed to just memorizing, which is a really easy trap to fall into. And I have to stop myself from falling into this trap constantly. I hope these Anki add-ons make your Anki journey a little bit easier and a little bit better because I know it's hard to kind of stare at these cards all day. I know I do it every day, but I think these add-ons make using Anki a little bit more efficient, much easier, and exciting. I just wanted to kind of breeze. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.